What is going on guys? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about the Halloween franchise in this video here today, specifically the Halloween TV show that we know was announced late last year. So we got some plot details today from Mark Helwig, who is head of Miramax. And this is from Deadline. It says Miramax Television in October signed a deal with Trankus to develop and co-produce a Halloween TV series, which is envisioned to potentially launch a cinematic universe spanning film and television. Uh, says Miramax and Blumhouse collaborated with Trankus on the successful recent Halloween movie trilogy. Now, this is what Hellwig said to Deadline. He said, we're on a fast track. It's a pretty big priority for us. We've had a lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people. And I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. Adding, we're hopeful or we're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. And then it goes on to say, while the search for a writer is still ongoing, the idea for the TV series has already been identified. It's a big world. The most recent trilogy culminating with Halloween ends provided a fitting conclusion to that story. So I don't think that I don't think that this is an opportunity to go off of the back of that. So the recent trilogy won't have anything to do with the TV show is what I'm taking away. So the series, though, is going to be back on to the Halloween franchise origins or going back to the Halloween franchise origins. He said that the foundation of this series will be the original film, the John Carpenter movie, just like the approach that we've been seeing with the last Blumhouse trilogy. So the foundation of it will be the original film, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions or even in a number of them. It's a creative reset completely and going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out any of the more recent film adaptations. Um, My takeaway here is that we could be seeing a TV show obviously going off of the first film that explores in-depthly characters like Lindsay Wallace, Tommy Doyle, Marion Chambers in a more profound, compelling way than what we just saw them treat it like in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Tommy died, not that Tommy didn't have some sort of significance prior to his death, but the legacy characters and the way they were used in the recent Blumhouse trilogy, I think is far inferior when you want to compare, let's say how the legacy characters from Scream were being used under the recent Spyglass relaunch, especially Lindsay. Lindsay was in Halloween Ends for really no reason other than to just show that she had some sort of bond with those two characters. There was nothing significant going on with her. Then in Halloween Kill, she had one of the more memorable moments with that chase scene, but then nothing really happened with Lindsay. There was nothing going on. We found out that they got together, they drank every year to commemorate their trauma, and then chaos ensued and Tommy joined the mob. They had this rushed reunion with their babysitter, or at least Tommy did. And yeah, that was it. Marion died. Tommy died. It was just very uneventful and anticlimactic for those characters to be back in the thick of things. Again, especially Lindsay, because she showed up twice out of this trilogy. She showed up in Kills, and then she just showed up in Ends very briefly. So I hope it's related to exploring those characters, considering there's a lot of scrap screenplays with those characters involved anyway. They could be exploring some other characters that I'm not thinking of, like Lonnie and his group of buddies that we met back in the original film when they were teasing and bullying uh, Tommy. There's a lot of different characters that I'm not thinking of, that, but the most prominent characters I can think of that they could be referring to and that this series could be focusing on is Tommy and Lindsay. I would love to see a series set around them. How you go about it, I don't know. I just thought that was a very interesting update to get from him today, considering that there hasn't been much of an update on what direction creatively it would be taking since the announcement came last year that the TV series was happening and that Miramax won the TV rights. But now we know that the foundation of it is going to be that original film. As he pointed, the foundation of it is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions or even a number of them. It's a creative reset completely and going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out any of the more recent film adaptations. So my other assumption is that this TV series will function as a follow up to what happened in the 78 film. And then the seasons after it, if it's successful, is just going to be 
a TV series adaptation of a sequel to that original film. That's what I that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's taking some sort of Buffy the Vampire Slayer like approach where you have a Buffy movie and then you have an entire show that really serves as a sequel to the movie. That sounds like the approach they're going to take with the TV show. And then the cinematic universe they're talking about could simply just be from at some point, if the show is successful, some narrative will leap its way onto the big screen and that'll serve as our next Michael Myers movie. I don't know. I just thought that was an interesting update and I hope the characters that they're talking about are Tommy and Lindsay because I think they were very underutilized in the recent Blumhouse trilogy. But what do you guys think about this? Do you see us focusing on a different character that I'm not considering? Like again, Lonnie or... Yeah, I don't think they're going to bring back Jamie. I don't think Laurie Stroh will be involved. I hope not anyway. I think her character has been written off completely well enough. And we will just see what they have to cook up. Because it sounds like they're going to create a whole new timeline. Which is what the Halloween franchise has been known to keep been doing since its inception, you could argue. With how things got very messy after Halloween 6. So they did Halloween H2O. Then Halloween H2O led to... Nothing happening after Resurrections, so then we got those remakes with Rob Zombie, then you got the 2018 timeline, and now it's like a choose-your-own-adventure type of thing, and they're just continuing that with the TV show. I would love to know who these characters are. I'm sure we'll find out sooner rather than later, but again, my biggest hope is that it's Lindsay and Tommy, since there are a plethora of screenplays that I've talked about on my channel recently with characters like Lindsay and Tommy being present in them, and to see these characters explored in the form of a TV show, I wouldn't mind, and I think they've also had brief appearances in later sequels like apparently Lindsay is the one driving rachel and jamie in halloween 4 apparently that's supposed to be Lindsay wallace but we'll see what do you guys think about this let me know down in the comment section below what are your hopes for the halloween tv show are you happy it's going off of the original film are you not happy about that let me know all of that down below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video